Lavender. Hello, everyone out there. And it's a happy brand new month on the 1st of February for us. Right. And um, for those who are catching us live and have not seen us before, hello, uh, my name is Jen. I'm um, from Singapore. I'm a single working mom to two teenage boys and also a digital business owner. And I have with me Amanda. Amanda, would you like to introduce yourself? Of course. So my name is Amanda. I'm a Philippine-born Chinese. Right now, I'm living in Taiwan. I have a husband, and I live with my my aging mom and uh, a brother. And I've got three sisters, and we are all here in Taiwan. I'm an immigrant my entire life. I'm actually Chinese, but we moved to the Philippines um, when my probably great grandfather uh, decided to move to the Philippines. So we grew up there, and then my my mom decided to come back to not really come back, but migrate to Taiwan. So I have been an immigrant my entire life, and I certainly know all the pain and struggles of being an immigrant. Of course. <laughs> of course, we've got all different types of pain and struggles we all face in life. And uh, that's exactly why we are here today, you know, because it's, it's really such interesting um, journey for us, right? Because Amanda and myself started off with being strangers and then we get to know <laughs> each other through this online business and then got a chance to know each other and realize that both of us, right, we actually have certain um, common interests and belief, right? So um, so here we are, you know, we, we, we really want to take this opportunity with a brand new year or even a brand new month, you know, this is like so so right on spot that how can we actually um trying to um uh, reset restart and refocus in our life i mean it's uh we all have challenges in our right in, in our life right and uh for me really you know uh, as i shared earlier i'm a single mom to two teenage boys i'm also a working mom and you know there's there's um there's a, a lot of uh, adversities, struggles I myself has came through. I would say that over, well, probably the last almost two decades, I would say. Well, I mean, boys is like 17 and 18 this year. Mm -hmm. So as a single mom, as a sole breadwinner for more than a decade, you know, and how I have uh, walked through, I would say, life, <laughs> from uh, mm -hmm. being in the corporate world, um, high flyer in, in sales and marketing, to being a, a traditional business owner in education industry, to, witness, yeah. to witnessing um, a lot of others. Um, I would say um, how the corporate culture, working culture has changed over time, how jo yeah. job security have changed and evolved over time. And yeah. I myself also experiencing through, um, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, loss of job stability. Um, it, it really, um, I would say, toughened me up and made mm -hmm. me who I am today. Um, yes. Plus, I think for some who have heard about my story, uh, I've gone through uh, some scams in my life. So, so you know, this is really a platform for us to want to share with people out there that you're not alone and yes. despite whatever we go through there's always always an opportunity for us to make a bounce back and make a comeback so yes. after being in this business and this platform and meeting you know, meeting amazing people like amanda <laughs> We sort of like decided, you know, we want to have this mission where we want to spread the love mm. and the inspiration to other people. Yeah. So yes, that's my little well, my little long story. <laughs> well, it's an inspirational story. Before I move on, let me just say hi to our uh, audience. Um, Melissa Wan from Australia, thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much, and. So I, I've heard your struggle and it's not an easy journey. And I'm sure a lot of people can resonate with your story because being a single mom raising two kids, especially boys, you know, you have different perspective and they're get, getting teenagers they are being rebellious. 
and you have to uh, feed them as well and 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 make sure that they get the the right um education and um, develop the right character as well you know and all of these things when they come together they feel so overwhelming and sometimes Absolutely. yes and for a very 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 long time imagine 17 years one of your boys 17 years you've been doing that for 17 years and it's so numbing it's so numbing it's 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 like your, your reality is like this is my reality for the past 17 years and it's so hard to change that perspective and so that's the reason one of the reasons why we wanted to share this episode or this series of episodes with you on reset restart and refocus because you know jen and i have gone through our each of our own struggles and we already have the tools and techniques that we have learned along the way and we wanted to share it with the audience so that you could probably lessen the time of pain and lessen the time of you know figuring out oh what should i do right now or how could i shift my mindset right now um so those are the things that we wanted to share through this um, series of go live now with my own personal journey is that i am I would consider myself as a very lucky person, a very privileged person, because I'm the youngest of uh, five siblings, and my I I enjoyed a lot of uh, good treats from my parents or from my grandparents. I would say that I'm a spoiled brat when I was little, um, but it wasn't until it was I was in my grade school, like five, I was probably 11, 12 years old, where my parents got divorced. And it left a trauma on me. It's um, it was it was a nasty divorce, and I was in a you know teenage years in a very confusing stage, and I happened to be the last straw that led to my father leaving our house completely. And for me, that was the moment where I lost my identity and I lost my my confidence, like after that incident everything that went wrong in my life i would blame it on me because i i thought that for everything because i've had that past trauma of leading to my parents divorce then i thought okay every misfortunate event that happened to me it's all my fault so and that that kind of stumbled or or grew into lack of self-confidence because when when everything is not going right then you kind of lose your confidence and you kind of fell into that i wouldn't say that deep depression for myself but slight depression where i couldn't find that happiness or joy or confidence within me thinking that i don't deserve happiness or i don't deserve anything good in life and so I, that's that's when I embarked on a personal development journey, and I've tried so many books, audio books, um, books that uh, inspirational books, and um, coaches as well. So Jen and I both read or a big follower of uh, Gabby uh, Gabrielle Bernstein or or Mel Robbins and they do really help us. So for you, those of you who probably don't know them, you know, what we do here is going to share what we have personally learned from these gurus and, um, you know, share them from our own perspective and from our own story as well. Yeah, so right. You know, um, as I hear you, I sort of like, I mean, really feel for you because I could feel myself, part of myself in it as well. You know, how certain events in my life has made me feel like I am not worthy of a lot of things. You know, I just felt things just go right down spiral and yeah. So, you know, there are so many things that I think there's, uh, that we are going to share in the next couple of episodes coming up. You know, so we really hope that, you know, uh, be whether you're watching us live now or watching our replay, you know, please do catch us every Thursday at the same time at 8 p.m. where we will be, you know, sharing with you um some of the things that we've done and how we overcame them. 
so then at least you know not only you're not alone you can try our methods right yeah. and you don't have to go the long way to <laughs> Yes. Like, you know, you don't have to go through the long way because we've already tried different things, right? Well, of course, things work for us may not work for you, but at least, you know, there's a proven way that I think um, it has helped either myself or Amanda. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And what some of the um, events that we're uh, having in line next is that we will have a meditation or mindfulness meditation for our upcoming episode because Jen and I are a big fan of law of attraction and positive vibes and sometimes or a lot of times we have those mental chatters within our head you know when you wake up in the morning first thing you would think of are the problems that you've had yesterday or the list of tasks that you have to deal with later on or the people that you dislike in your life. And this mental chatters becomes the source of our unhappiness and the source of our of creating our own reality. And so this, this is one of the reasons why we wanted to introduce mindfulness meditation next week, because for Jen and I, these are like the absolute <clears throat> first step for us to be able to shift our mindset. Because again, our topic here is restart, reset, and refocus. And it all starts here. Yes, it yes. all starts here in our brain. And that's why we wanted to bring you a mindfulness meditation. And we have invited a very special guest as well. Yes, yes. I was about to say that too. So if you want to be like us, you know, uh, I always like this slogan, winning minds, winning life. So you win your mind to win your life. And you want to join us and see who is our special guest next week. Once again, tune in uh, with us next Thursday at 8 p.m. Singapore time and Taiwan time. Right. Yes. All yes. right. Anything so else, Amanda, you want to add? before we say no goodbye. actually that's it and um we wanted to keep our episode as short as possible because we know everyone's so busy so we'll keep only the important nuggets so that you could easily uh, grab uh or take away whatever you can apply into your life so we want we won't keep you long for long and so that's it stay tuned next thursday and happy weekend or happy friday tomorrow happy february Happy February! Bye okay. everyone! See you! Bye everyone!